World's End Harem Episode 9 Well, the episode started with Shota having a um strike anywhere and strike while the iron is hot kind of mindset. Uh-huh. All throughout the first third of the episode at least uh, he he was indulging himself talaga. He did it in class. He did it in the girls um in the girls public bath. He even screwed the school nurse. <laughs> wow. All right? Flat out while he was while he was doing his own thing here, Rato, well team Rato um has finally returned to um to the hospital they suspect where, where where the MK virus was manufactured sa sobrang gulat niya meron siyang sin- nasirang pader yeah she's that strong may nakita silang bukas na air vent na ganun air uh yeah air duct okay every building has this pero itong air duct na to kasang kasa ang isang tao so pasok silang apat so, uh, they, they want to know where it leads to Ngayon, si Koroda, she accidentally leaned on uh, one of those um, vents. Eh, syempre, hindi naman ganun ka, hindi naman ganun ka secure ang mga locks nun. So, nag, they, they all fell to, uh, thankfully, a pile of boxes. Pero, may, may sumalubos ka, sa kanila na taga, taga UW. To UW Japan. And, well, Nag-declare na lang na hindi na kayo pwedeng lumabas dito ng buhay. All of a sudden, gunshots uh, shots were fired pero bulagta lahat 'yun. Yung pala mga tauhan ni Chloe ito. You still remember the the exchange student na yeah, that hit on Rito in uh, during during that resort scene? Yeah. Her full name is Chloe Mansfield. Siya ang head ng peacekeeping operations ng UW World Headquarters which is based in its own world headquarters. So, wow! Ang taas pa na ng katungkulan nito. Well, she revealed here in this episode that ever since Reto, uh, Reto came out, pumunta siya sa Japan and went undercover as an exchange student. Siya mismo pala ang nag-iimbestiga kung Bakit hindi sinabi sa kanila ito ng UW Japan? Oy, It's not official. UW World Headquarters is on Rito's side. Nai, naitakas ni Chloe ang Team Rito. Because nakita pala nila na mayroon palang bombang sasabog. Ayun nga, sumabog. The whole hospital um, came, the whole hospital came down. Talagang, gusto talagang ita, gusto talagang Ah. Uh, gusto itagong is, gusto pa lang talagang isikreto ng UW, UW Japan ito. Alam na ni Chloe na dito mismo ginawa ang MK virus. Kaya niya, kaya niya siguro pinadala yung kanyang aid para arestuhin na yung tatlong directors. So, final scene. But while all of this was going on, si Shota, man medyo nag Nakaramdam na ng awa kay um, yung yung girl na nambuli sa kanya noon 5 years ago na ginawa niyang na ginawa niyang pet. Nakakadena na pa nga eh. Binigyan niya ng kumot. Then all of a sudden uh, explosions went um, blasting sounds went off. Then uh, it panned again to the helicopter where Chloe and Team Rito was riding. Ni-report ni Chloe na may nag-report sa kanya na na kidnap pala si Sota ng isang terrorist group. If you ask me, Patreon, mga ka-lifestyle, yep, it is the final three episodes of this anime. <laughs> so, let's break that episode down now. Critic sub style. Pace! First turn of the episode, Julian. Uh, when the story was um, 
uh, was all caught up with with Shota's exploits. The pacing was slow, but it's not exactly boring. <laughs> like you, if you're a if you're a single male like me, baka magselos ka pa kay Shota. <laughs> baka baka pa baka kaingitan mo pa si Shota. So yeah, it was a slow but um sexually stimulating pacing. But the moment na um na na trouble ang team rito, that's when the pacing became tense. Right? So medyo pero medyo bumilis yung yung pacing dito from from this point. Uh, it's it's quite understandable kasi nagkakalaglaga na, nagkakagulo na. So, alam mo Alam mong bagal mo, bagal mo pa yung pacing. Eh, out of the question. So do I have complaints, mga kalaistal? Hell no! Eh, I love the pacing of the episode. Talagang, gets na gets ko yung nangyayari sa episode. Because of the pacing. Flow naman! First gear shift here was... Well, I hate to disappoint you guys, but... I don't see any gear shift in the part where, in the part, uh, in the in the in the first third of the episode where Shota is um yeah he's having a good time. No, wala akong nakita don. The first gear shift here was when um Sui accidentally found that uh, found that air duct. Right. For me, this was the gear shift that triggered the episode. Or you can say that it triggered the final three episodes of the anime. Pwede. Kasi, uh, if you would look at it, Team Raido was that close to the truth na. In as much as UW Japan steps in and sets and sets up bombs inside that hospital para madami na sila. Na or sa pasabugin ni Leon, hindi patay silang lahat. Second gear shift. Was when yun, Chloe shows herself again, but reintroduces herself as the head of UW peacekeeping operations. No brainer of a gear shift, folks. This is the gear shift that confirms well that UW World HQ is on Rito's side. Matagal na pala nilang alam na ang ang katarantaduhan ng UW Japan ever since Rito came out. Final gear shift. Is of course the final scene. Nung sinabi ni Chloe na kinindap si Shota. But why did I call it a gear shift? Simply lang, folks. This gear shift will signal the first time meeting between Reito and Shota. It's a great setup for the next episode. Talagang makikita na sila Shota at Reito. So these three gear shifts that I saw. All of them will play a role in the final two episodes. Taganyo sa batoyan. Plot lies. Wala ko ma-determine the side story or back story dito. Lalo yung exploits ni 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 Shota. Yeah, dapat mong i-expression. You should not stay on a sex scene for that long. Kasi well Baka, baka, baka ma-sensor ka. Okay? This is a borderline hentai. You should keep it that way. So, malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Dapat lang. Because it's the final three episodes. Side stories and back stories are not that necessary anymore. Patapos na ang storyline ng World's End Harem. So, you need, you need the audience to focus on the main continuity. Kaya, well, Gukumi and Axis made the right call here. Eh, med- medyo in-express nila yung, yung, ex- yung further exploits ni Shota rito. Yung sexual exploits niya. Dapat lang. Kasi, uh, if, you, if, you prolong those, if you prolong those sex scenes, oh, teka muna. Baka ma... Sasabihin siguro ng board of censors, oh, teka muna. Hindi pwede for mainstream viewing ito. Hentai lang ito. I-ex namin to. Patay. 
patay ang Raymond Yumu. So, it's a really clean plot. It will make you under, it will, it will give you a full understanding of what the storyline has transpired into. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, mga ka lifestyle. So, World's End Harem Episode 9. Hindi ko patapos yung pagkaya po pala. <laughs> mm. Two thumbs up. Teka, subo lang ako. Rocky. Rocky, Rocky. There you go. So, pag-usapan natin ngayon yung implications ng episode na to sa final two. What? <clears throat> Number one. I am 100% sure na magkikita sila Rito at Shota sa next episode. Because, well, I don't trust teasers that much, but if the title says anything, the two numbers, 90% sure ako na magkikita ang dalawang ng dalawang mokong na bidang ito. <laughs> Kasi, sa kanilang dalawa talaga nag-focus ang story eh. Come, come episode 4 onwards. Nag, nagpalitan sila ng continuity, nagpalitan ng continuity ang anime na to. Just between the two of them. Si Kyoji, hindi eh. Kasi, significant kasi yung pinagdadaanan ni ni Shota. Because, He's only 18. He's probably the youngest amongst all the numbers. And probably right now, um, Rito is the second oldest. Ang pinakamatanda kasi Rito si Kyoji. So, yeah, it, it, would be, it would be nice, okay? It would be really nice for Rito and Shota to meet. Kasi it's about time that um, uh, it's about time that the numbers get to know each other and possibly band together against UW, UW Japan for, yeah, for basically lying to them, for basically screwing with their lives. And, wow, kakampi pa nila ang World HQ through Chloe. Yeah, well, we all know that Chloe did hit on Shota during, during, uh, during their um, during team Rito's stay at the uh, at Shota at Rito pala uh, during their stay at that resort para madalo yung matandang babae na in a coma ngayon so <laughs> Chloe herself can vouch for can vouch for uh, Rito's iron will pero according to yung yung nurse no, it's just his virginity. <laughs> so, tutukan na natin yung final two episodes, guys. Matatapos na ang World's End Harem. And, well, I'm not gonna dare you to miss, I'm not gonna dare you to miss out. But, yeah, I dare you to miss out. Okay? So, again, World's End Harem, episode 9, two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for World's End Harem, mga lifestyle. Wow! Tuloy-tuloy ang tutang sa mo. Galing! Galing! So, Patreon, wait for my next upload. And for those of you who are stuck, still stuck with the CHD, maybe chill-chill lang muna. Enjoy this review and wait for the next one.